intention candles. In this lecture, we'll look at how you can create intention candles. So what is an intention candle? So an intention candle means that you put a certain type of energy behind the candle as you're making it with the intent that when the person lights it that they receive that energy that you've put into it. I hope that makes sense. So what I'm going to show you here is how I would create um, an intention candle myself. So the first thing I've done is I've got somebody in mind specifically for this candle. So that's the first thing that I will bring to my mind when I'm making this candle. The next thing I will think about is what I want for that person when they feel the energy as they light their candle. And for this particular person, I want them to feel a sense of peace. I want them to feel connected to the angelic realm. Um, I know they're having problems um, with expressing themselves at the moment, so I'm going to be working with the colour blue, because the blue is the colour of the throat chakra, and whatever you have around you that's of a colour will be working with the chakras within your body. So there's so much more to candles than just having a candle that burns. <laughs> if it's a blue candle, it's working with your throat chakra. If it's a pink candle, it's working with your heart chakra, etc., etc. So, and this particular person is, problem, is having problems expressing themselves and they're feeling a little disempowered. So I'm specifically wanting to work with the energy of Archangel Michael. Now, for those of you that know anything about um, the Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael is all about empowerment and he works with the blue color ray. So it seems all quite appropriate that I should work with all those energies, the blue color ray, the angelic realm, the sense of peace, the helping you express yourself. And that's what I'm doing when I'm making my intention candle. So you'll see I've got some things that I have got here, and I, and I know a lot of you have asked me about how to work with crystals in candles. So I have got, crystals can be used in candles, but the best way for them to be used is rather than being immersed in the bottom of the candle, is we place them around the top of the candle so that their energy is constantly through the candle as the candle burns and the light of the candle sends out the rays from the crystals into the room where the person has lit the candle. So what I have here are, I have some beautiful angel wing stickers and I got these on Etsy.com and if you did my other course you would have seen me working with these and these are beautiful little angel wings, they just peel off the back there and my intention behind this is that I'm connecting with the angelic realm with my candle and I'm specifically thinking about the person that I'm wanting to connect with here and Archangel Michael. Can't do that backwards, better turn that round so it looks better. And there's my beautiful little angel wings on the outside of it. I've got some blue crystals here. These are actually um, in the shape of a heart. So I'm again, I'm bringing in the love that I have for the person through the use of the heart symbol. And I've got some little bits of potpourri here and these are dried and they will sit around the edge of the candle away from the burn wick. So we don't put dried flowers all the way through the center of a candle with the wax because they will catch fire. So we're going to put them very gently around the edges. And because I've also got gold theme here and I'm thinking of angels, I've also got a little bit of gold glitter that I'm going to use in my candle too. So step one, Take two containers full of uh, wax. Soy wax is really good for uh, container candles because it doesn't pull back from the side when it dries out. So soy wax is really good for that. It's also really nice when it burns. Uh, you can have colors and fragrances added to it as well so that it smells beautiful while it's burning. Um, so you're gonna take two containers full of, this is be soy wax, 
and you're going to put it on to melt and you're going to melt it up to a temperature of about 185 degrees Fahrenheit. And while that's melting, as you can see behind me there, you're going to prepare a wick and I'm going to make sure that my wick is the right size for that jar, which it is. And I've got these wonderful things called wick stickers, which are fabby. So I simply just put my wick in there like that. As you go boggle eye trying to get the thing off. And you take the back off and then your wick is simply ready to use and you need to position it in the centre at the bottom and you can use that just using your eye. Plop. Okay. The other thing I will need is a wick stick which you will see me put onto it once I've poured the candle. Oh. Okay, so once you've melted your wax, I've added some beautiful blue colour in because again I'm connecting with the blue ray um, and the throat jack through this making this candle and I'm going to pour very gently and as I do I'm just thinking about my friend as I'm doing it and I'm sort of sending, sending love and as the wick falls over slightly don't worry about that because we'll secure it into place when we've finished pouring. Okay, so just before the candle set, so that's been sitting there now for about half an hour, I'm going to put my crystals around the candle. So, and I'm going to press it slightly into the wax. It's not quite dried yet. And there's my one crystal there, and I've got my little potpourri thingamadoodles that I'm going to put at the side there and I'm trying to keep if I'm going to put anything that's flammable keep it away from the burn pool so just put them around the edge now so glitter is okay so I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter around oh, more than a little there and when that's properly dry I'm going to trim down the wick and there you have your beautiful intention candle. <laughs>